In this tech tip, we're going to talk about our new geodesic toolpath. First, let's define what geodesic is. The definition of geodesic in Merriam-Webster is to find the shortest distance from one point to another along a surface or a sphere. And that's exactly what this geodesic toolpath does. Here we have a fairly complex pocket in a part. And let's look at it from top view, home view, top view, and a couple of other views. And you'll see that we have surfaces that are actually behind and would require tilting. Our goal is to finish this floor of the part, so we are going to use that as the drive surface. And as you can see, we will need some tilting strategy to keep it from hitting this wall. And we also want to make as attractive a toolpath as possible. So we're going to use our new geodesic toolpath. Under surface paths is calculation based on geodesic machining. We're going to select this as the machining surface. And we're going to let input type for parallel to multiple curves perform an automatic calculation. That's another thing about geodesic. Since it is a dedicated toolpath, there is less input required. We're going to set it to spiral instead of zigzag or one way. So it's going to spiral from the inside out or from the outside in depending on whether we select flip step over. Tool axis control is going to be set to five axis and we have a tilt angle of 20 degrees because the tilt angle of this wall is five and I want to keep the end mill away from this wall at all times. No gouge check was required and link only required that we did a vertical ramp lead in and a vertical ramp lead out. We're going to press the go button and you can see how quickly the geodesic toolpath was developed. There's my vertical ramp lead in. There's my vertical ramp lead out. Now let's watch it happen on a five axis vertical machining center. Let's get everything tilted just right and have a look at this toolpath. We'll run it a little slowly at first and we'll turn on the show position indicator so that you can see that all five axes are involved. Now let's zoom in and watch this tool path happen. And yes, it is keeping the tool away from the inner walls and away from the outer walls here as well as the radius surfaces. And in this case, it is moving from the outside in. If we chose flip step over on the area menu, it would simply change from inside to out. But let's let it continue with this toolpath and let's speed it up a little bit so that we can see the action of the part as we get more towards the center. It's going very fast. Let's slow it down. And as you can see, it is more or less doing what we consider an offset shape. And it is calculating the least number of passes possible to create this workpiece. This has been a demonstration of the geodesic toolpath.